I have some questions for you when we get rolling. Remember this one. Oh. Yes, it is my natural color. <laughs> That's awesome. That one threw me off. I don't know what to say about that. Wow. Basically, he's saying the, the carpet matches the drapes. Yes. Yeah, I got it. <laughs> All right. Can I do a photo real fast for the for so so Shane, so, move closer to Steve, right there. No, <laughs> Randy, stay where you are. Okay, good. But talk, look at like you're talking to the mics. We're not supposed to talk on the side of the mic. Okay. That's okay. Look. No, 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 no. Oh, God, y'all are so. So. Hey. Hello. Oh. <laughs> All of those are going to go on Instagram. <laughs> okay. You started that shit. I'm just saying. You started it. Hey, welcome back to the old Stogies. We've got a great guest with us today, Steve Plunkett, who's the operations manager of Gateway Flight Center at Calhoun County Airport. Steve, how's it going? Man, I'm doing so good now. It's just so nice to be inside. It's been so hot lately, but uh, life is good. Good, good. Where'd you park good. the plane? Park the plane on the roof. Awesome. Nice. Yeah, no. Nice. Come back. So, uh, hey, thanks for joining us. We appreciate oh, of you. of course, appreciate man. Appreciate you coming on. Always good to be with you guys. Ah, thanks. So, um, let's talk a little about cigars. You've been in the lounge a lot, man. We appreciate you coming in. But, oh, of course. And you've had some, some good cigars in the lounge, too. Very man. good cigars, yeah. man. You guys have turned me on some really special cigars, and they've been stellar. All your recommendations have just hit the mark. Um, truly, I guess, it's my favorite. I don't know where it came from, but that Gurkha cigar mm -hmm. with Blendmaker's cask, holy crap. Oh, <laughs> hey, you want to tell the story about the Gurkha? The rumor? Oh, as you, it is? You go ahead. You that, that's a good story. All right. So, so here's the, the rumor. Yeah, yeah let's hear. The, the rumor with Gurkha cigars. We, yeah. we had a guy show up in the lounge, and you know, we obviously have a we have a nice eight by ten of Monica Lewinsky yeah. in the lounge. He goes, um, allegedly. Allegedly, the cigar that was in question during that event yeah. was a Gurkha. Yeah. Wow. And this is what he told me. He goes, it was a Gurkha, yeah. and I use it as an opportunity to sell. I'm like, we sell Gurkhas. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> and so we sold the guy a Gurkha. Yeah, yeah. But supposedly. I like that. Allegedly. Allegedly. Yeah. Theory. That yeah. was yeah. the cigar. The cigar. <laughs> nice. I love that. That's always been one of my favorites, walking in the lounge, and that's part of your age check process is, is identifying the picture. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. That's a good one. So in your mind, what makes a good cigar? Is it the taste? Is it the draw? What, what really catches your eye. It's all a combination. I would say mostly the draw, the way it draws and and the mouth feel, you know, it can't be too harsh, can't be too I, I agree with you. The consistency is a big issue. We we lost Randy on that one. But yeah, consistency, I'm not gonna say mouth feel. I just did. But the consistency <laughs> Is a is a big deal for me. Stop. The draw. Pick it up, serious. <laughs> gotta cut it. If Randy would have leaned back, <laughs> he the a muscle. Pencil. He was like, "Whoa!" <laughs> oh. Let's hear the context. <laughs> and, Sorry. And the mouth feel, you know, but can't be too harsh. Can't be too. <laughs> That's right. It just fades <laughs> away. All right, let's go so back. I would say mostly the draw, the way it draws. Let's just start his answer over again. Okay, yeah. he's gonna, and the way it draws, and you're going to come in with, and whatever. Okay, hold on. Uh, let me get mm -hmm. back on track. So you're saying, okay. You can probably so go ahead the best and start off with about the way it draws again. Yeah. You can start over completely. Yeah, yeah, yeah you can start that thought over. <laughs> Whoa! <What>? Sorry. <laughs> All right, are you ready? Okay, cool, let's roll it. The way it draws, you know, it can't be too harsh or too biting in there. Uh, a nice smooth mouthfeel with, with good taste and flavor right there. That's what I go for. A good consistency. Oh, yeah, saying. for sure. You know, right. it's, it's just got to feel right. I totally agree. <laughs> <laughs> this is wrong. I got to okay. drop that word. You come in and say, I totally agree. But it's straight. Fence. I don't know if I can now. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <Whew. laughs> okay, what's your next thought after that? I, I was just we trying were... to save the segment. <laughs> I didn't really have a thought. That's okay. All right, we need to go. Okay, so what I like, so I'm going to talk about what I like about cigars, and you're going to pick up, man, that's great. Yeah, that's what we like about cigars. Yeah, something. And then what's your 
Did we well, do just, what's your favorite? Just let him already? lean into it. Just go, yeah. mouthfeel. <laughs> All right. Just what do you mean by mouthfeel? Mouth get it over with. A little salty. I don't know. <laughs> 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 Terrible. <laughs> Ringside. Pineapple. Uh, Ringside. <laughs> Can we start with segment three and come back to this one? Yeah. I'm kidding, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. Oh. Let me get... I was going to say, I didn't think I went... I didn't think I did anything wrong. You did. <laughs> no, you did fine. They're losing it. I'll chuckle house over here. I'm trying not to. I, I keep looking over at Randy. <laughs> <laughs> so let's ask Randy to leave the room. I, I was trying, trying to say something. I didn't really have a thought. That's good. Leave that in there. Yeah. <laughs> Taste and flavor right there. That's what I go for. A good consistency. Oh, oh yeah, for sure. You know, it's, it's just got to feel right. <laughs> I totally. <laughs> <know>. <laughs> okay, it's got to feel right. Okay, that was the last thought. Awesome. All right, so we need to switch off it so it's, it's got to feel right. So that was me talking about what I like about cigars. So now we need to go what to... What don't you like about cigars? Let's just start there. <laughs> The mouthfeel. <laughs> so, you know, it can't be too harsh or too biting in there. Uh, a nice smooth mouthfeel with with good taste and flavor right there. That's what I go for. A, good, a, a nice smooth smoke. That's texture. what I go for. So I think we're here. Okay, so we're gonna so we, ask we, need, question. we need to cut out mouthfeel. Or, yeah, well, yeah. Okay. Really? Yeah. yeah, we got other words. We got other words. Okay. Other words. Okay. Smoke texture. The two biting in there. Uh, a nice smooth mouthfeel with, with good... Okay, so you would start with a nice smooth yeah. something else? Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> Rolling. A nice smooth fl smoke texture, you know, it's got to feel good. So. Yeah, yeah, no, I understand. I understand. I, I, I think that's, uh, that's kind of where we are, too. Yeah, one of my biggest things is consistency. Yeah. Nice. You know, I mean, to have that cigar that pulls perfect every time, mm -hmm. you know, it doesn't run, it doesn't... Yeah, the Gurkhas are there. Right. The oh, last one you guys it. gave me, the Nub, the Nub had about the best draw I've had of almost any cigar. That was oh, just consistent cigars. all the way through, yeah. smooth and tasty. Yeah, that's a good cigar. Um, Oliva makes that, I think. Oh, nice. Yes. Yeah. 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 I, I do believe you're right. It's yeah. in the lounge. That's all I know. Yeah, we do carry those in the lounge with a nice uh, Cameroon wrapper. So it's kind of a mid-bodied cigar. It's really good. nice. So, Steve, i got a couple of questions for you. Yeah. You know, last week we talked about my son going into the Air Force. He's getting ready to head out and all that fun stuff. But I think it was March or April? Was it the Livestock Show? Was it March or April? Right after the, so yeah, during the Livestock Show, I, I awarded out several free discovery flights, introductory flights, because I do flight, flight instruction lessons. there. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And uh, I won. Yes, you did. I did. So we gave it to my son, who's getting ready to go to the Air Force. Uh, just kind of let people know he showed up in a what do they call those a flap helmet we call the that, that that's way back there was a leather flight cap you know had the ear muffs you know nice sheep and the skin, goggles. leather goggles he had the whole first time you met him that's how he oh, showed yeah. up yeah oh and he was just you know on he was at a, an 11 he was out there he was up and ready to rock and uh and we got him in the plane he's a very talkative kid oh man the confidence level just poured out of him. He was so happy, thrilled, talkative. It was, he was ready to be in the air. And then we got in the air. <laughs> yeah, and I, everything went happened. smooth and good. So, so we offer discovery flights. We offer introductory flights. I'll take you up for about 30 minutes around the Bay Area and, and let you see the sights, get at the controls of the airplane. I'm a flight instructor. You know, we're going to ease you into this. And, and Jeffy was just having a blast and we were doing good. We went cruise down to Port O'Connor, came back, had a little bit of time to kill, and I just wanted to show them some of the capabilities of the airplane and what you learn in normal flight training. And some of those things are like stall recovery, and so you recover from a... Uh, so it's one of those things is stall recovery, and so you recover from this aerodynamic factor that that causes the wings to lose lift and, and we do you know a hundred of them while we're learning to get your private pilot license and so I showed him one and poor little Jeffy <laughs> oh lord he grabbed onto my seat and said oh just like that 
and the confidence level went from an 11 to maybe a 2. <laughs> and he was just yeah. ready to be done with that. There was one other stall that he told us about on the way home that you were telling him about. Which one was that? So I just described how a spin would happen, which is not something you try to do at that level. I was just talking through it. And I think he said, oh, please, God, Steve, don't do that. Yeah, that was his exact <laughs> words. Dear God, Steve, don't. <laughs> so, in no intention of doing it, not meaning to scare him, just showing him some of the capabilities of the airplane and what we go through in normal training to recover from uh, this unusual situation that you could get into. But, uh, no, I think he had a, a good time overall. I think uh, for the Air Force, he's thinking about doing linguistics now oh, after you've nice. taken him up in the air. Nice. So, so, so. riding a desk instead of a joystick. <laughs> so, what is cut that? <laughs> <laughs> now we'll leave it. So, Steve, we uh, we we met you after we had the lounge up and running for what maybe a month or two, right? And uh, you just you just what you saw some, like the livestock show, right? And you were like, "Wax a hatchy, what is that?" And you came in and had a cigar. Here, can you pause real quick? We met sure. way before that, did we? Yeah. I was gonna say we would like renew you when you were refurbishing the yeah. thing. Oh yeah, 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 yeah it was yeah, all yeah, before yeah. that. I'm sorry, I wasn't even listening. Well, and yeah, I was we gonna say it was that. it was before that, and then it came out, and I think I even went to a couple of of events before the livestock show. Sorry, yeah. that just threw me off. I'm like, no, no, am no, I no, supposed no, to roll right. with this, or are we a little no, off? No, no, no. no, 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 no okay. okay. Thank you for oh, yeah, that's a good Yeah, like we know you. So we together. Right. I I was always under the assumption that you knew Steve before I did. Yes. Yes, and it, most of it came from, or all of it came from Bree, and her interactions with y'all, okay. and then yeah. the the, the I lounge was in the lounge. being, mm -hmm. yeah, the lounge was being so overhauled. it was being renovated. Yes, oh, it was okay. being renovated. So while it was being renovated, and then my, my wife was following, and then I started following the lounge, and then when it finally came open and available, I was there pretty early on. Good. Yes. Yeah, okay. We need to tell good. that story. Right. That's, that's good. Through a normal training to recover from uh, uh, this unusual that situation that you could get into. And Randy, mm -hmm. what you were about to do, pick it up again. Okay. So Steve, we uh, we really got to know you when we were building the lounge, right? Oh yeah, I remember um, through through some other avenues, seeing the lounge being renovated. You know, mm -hmm. when the when the airstream originally came in, and then as it was being gutted and and refurbished into this glorious, you know, comfortable lounge, uh, I got to see that happen along the way. And then once it opened, that's when I really kind of got in there and got to. Partake. Yeah, yeah. Well, that's why. Thank you for using the word glorious. Appreciate yeah, that. Oh, and man. partake. And yeah. partake. There we yeah. go. Yeah. That's my SAT words for the day. Excellent. Okay. Those are at least eight dollar words. At think, least, so. at least. Maybe yeah. six. We've had fourteen dollar words in here. Yeah, so yeah, we yeah, get yeah. Come on, you got to get that eight dollar. I stuttered through more than three syllables. Those I'm are sorry. rookie numbers. We got to get those up. So. <laughs> so anyway, Shane, did you have a question? For so yeah, I, I have a couple. So how long you been a pilot? So I've been a pilot. I got my private pilot's license fourteen years ago. And then commercial about 12 years ago, and I've been flying consistently since then. Okay. Well, I've always had this question that I've always wanted to ask a pilot. I am sure, I'm almost positive, there's a keep so, the light on. All right. So where is oh, it? Yeah. Why is okay. it called a cockpit? Okay. Why is it called I don't even know how to ask this question. You, you, can, you can just totally there dodge there the question. I'm going to have We only have, like, what, a minute left? Smarter than me, decided yeah. Yeah. to call the front so of the plane So do you have something just a cockpit? So we're Planning on. Do we have something after <laughs> is there that a reason? So you recover from this? Is there a story reason? Reason? Question. Okay. We have no recovery plan. I need to just be uh, like, you know, I'm not really sure. Just be like, I'm not really sure. Or you could yeah. be smart and quote you that. Say, you could be a smart ass and go, quit with the yeah. quit. Like, I don't question. know. <laughs> Google it, man. <laughs> good. Good, 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 good. <laughs> All right. We're fine with that. Cool. Yeah. Why are your cigars called a torpedo? <laughs> cool. Why does Randy like an 80 ring size? Hey! <laughs> How many times did Steve say mouthfeel? <laughs> <laughs> Several. Several. <laughs> so I don't know. Let's uh, let's ask Siri. Randy, what do you know about cockpits? Um, you know, we'll uh, we'll consult the Oracle, and while we're doing that, why don't you guys listen to some more tunes? And we'll be back here in just a few minutes, and we will give you the etymology of the word cockpit. Probably won't. Yeah, probably won't. <laughs> we probably won't. You're going to let that one slide. I have a feeling yeah. it's enabled. Yeah. Term. We'll let that one go. Club Classic Rock 106.9. Cool. It's okay to have fun and cut up. Uh, you know, we are rock <laughs> I, 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 I love the, the kind of 
I planned okay. that question ahead of time. Yeah. Yeah, I could tell there was something looming. I was like, yeah. where is this going to go? Yeah. I didn't think it was going to be something that I really couldn't answer. Like, usually I can bullshit my way through something. I thought you would have an answer. I, I thought, thought I would too, really, but I didn't. There's, there's I this nothing. little switch, it's called a cock. <laughs> you know, I don't, you just I don't. toggle it. Yeah. <laughs> Remember while I got one, I said, challenge accepted? I knew he was going to ask that. Fair enough. No, that's, <laughs> that's all fair and good. I just, man, that was one that I didn't have anything witty. Uh, you didn't have a smart-ass reply. I didn't have a smart-ass reply. I'm full of them. It's all fun and games until someone loses a cock. Yeah. Pit. Pit. <laughs> Let me run and get my phone. Cool. Welcome back. Club Classic Rock 106.9, and we're the old stogies. And uh, we've got uh, we've got Steve Plunkett here with us from uh, Gateway Flight Center. Hey, Steve. The bucket. What's up, y'all? How's everything going? Ah, good. Hey, can you uh, stay with us through the end of the uh, segment here? Oh, for sure. I'd love to. Great, great, because I, I want to ask you, Suppose someone is interested in flight lessons. How, what would they do? Oh, that's real easy. You just just give us a call at the airport in Port Lavaca, 552-1228. Um, check in with me, Steve, and I'll get you all set up. We can start you off with a discovery flight, an introductory flight, which will take you around the crossroads area, let you be at the control of the airplane, and, and figure out if this is what you really want to do. Enjoy the skies, enjoy the feeling and the freedom and just the go anywhere atmosphere. And from there, we can get you set on a path to get your private pilot's license where you can fly with your family and friends, go where you want, when you want, and enjoy the, the benefits of air travel. That's perfect, that's perfect. Hey, before we move on, why don't you give a shout out to your lovely family? Oh man, Brianna, I love you. Our two girls, Emma and Kaylee, you guys are great. And uh, join us out at the Calhoun County Airport in Port Lavaca on October the 14th, pardon me, October the 12th, and we're going to have our annual fly-in. We've got a lot of great airplanes flying in. We're going to have barbecue, live music, 10 to 2 on October 12th, Saturday. Come and see us, come and go. No fees, free, family-friendly event out at the Port Lavaca Airport. Come and see us. We'll have a lot of cool planes and events going on. That sounds like fun. Yeah, it sounds like it really does. It really does. Uh, well, hey, we're going to start a new uh, segment here. Um, in just a few minutes. But first, um, Shane, what do you got for us? Well, this new segment that you so speak of is so to speak so of. So speak of? <laughs> All right, let's start that again. So say it now. So say it. <laughs> I love that. I was trying to be cool. I tried to do the voice. It didn't work. It was, it was really good. So We're going to speak start of. This is in a segment. <clears throat> Thanks, Shane. So, our new segment we want to start this week I'm is. Excited. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm excited. I have no idea what it is, but I think I'm excited. I, I think you pedaled a little on the floor. I was going to say, I can see that you're excited. Yes, yes. So, this segment is called The Worst Cigar Advice Ever Given. Mm. Yeah, so um, probably one of the worst. Uh, I mean, everybody's had bad advice, right? I mean, buy high, sell low. Um, just, just <laughs> wonderful things like that, right? Trust me, I'm a doctor. The check's in the mail, whatever. Everybody's had bad advice, but when it comes to cigars, whoo, purity's a bitch. When it comes to cigars, when it comes to cigars, uh, bad advice can absolutely turn a good experience into a gut-wrenching nightmare. Literally, one of the worst pieces of advice that someone can give you, here, smoke this cigar. Well, yeah, it depends on how maliciously that advice is given. You can. Why is that bad? I was no, going to say, it if depends. they don't know what they're talking about, if they if they haven't actually smoked a cigar, then they're just saying, "Oh, hey, I won these in a raffle game. Here, smoke this cigar." I know it you've never smoked a one raffle, before. Though. I, mean, well, it? I guess it does, but you know, I mean, what if they get lucky and they're good cigars? Right. right. What yeah, if it's cigars we gave them? They didn't know anything about them, and they, they give yeah. them to somebody else. All right. The worst advice is giving other people bad advice. Apparently. <laughs> No, but seriously, unless someone is know, knows what you're drinking, what you're eating, uh, if you've had experience with cigars and knows what something about that cigar, if it's mild, if it's if it's full bodied, if it's medium bodied, whatever, here smoke this cigar is maybe not the best advice to follow. Okay, I, I, I get it to a point. If they drop the word cigar, it's really bad advice though. Here, smoke this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. true. <laughs> <laughs> 
no cats were harmed in the making yeah. of this. Movie. Yeah, yeah, seriously. Yeah. I think yeah, I agree. It's all in context. If you're with somebody reliable, who's who, maybe like you guys can tell, like a cigar from bag cigar, and judge a person's experience level and what they can handle. Um, if if I give somebody like my wife, you know, one called the Edge, which is as black as a speaker box, um, then it probably won't be a good experience for them. But if you tailor it to them, you can make that a, a good recommendation with good intent. Absolutely. I, I think it depends where you are. If you're in a cigar lounge and they say, here, smoke this, great. You're in a back alley and they say, here, smoke this. Well, true, yeah. 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 But I mean, if, if it's a tobacconist. It depends on the mouthfeel. If it's, if it's a, a tobacconist, stop. <laughs> How many back alleys are you visiting per week? <laughs> Don't use the at. words back alley and mouthfeel. <laughs> <laughs> Not in the same sentence. I got ten bucks in my pocket. We're gonna keep that going? line in though. You're gonna just roll with it, and you're just gonna glom over it. Okay. Just gonna laugh. Just laugh. <laughs> yeah, no, it depends. If it's a tobacconist that's saying, "Here, try this," because they know something about the cigar. But if you got a buddy that just reaches in his pocket and he's got, I got two cigars, and I've never smoked this before. Here, smoke this. Well, no, that may not be good advice. You're right. What I don't like is when your buddy has already smoked part of the cigar and then hands it to you and says, "Here, smoke Here, this." Here, smoke yeah. this. Yeah, no, no, that's not happening. Also, bad advice. Yeah. Yeah. Right. yeah, yeah, yeah. What was that question we got asked one time? If you guys were on a desert island yeah. and there was only one cigar, what yeah. would it be? We're like, he'd get it. Yeah, <laughs> we're not Shanking sharing. It. We're not sharing. We're not. We're not. We're, sharing. we're just not going to share a cigar. No. Sorry. Fair enough. Uh -huh. We'll cut that baby in half before we do that. So, yeah. So anyway, uh, we're going to be uh, revisiting some of this bad advice over the next couple <laughs> weeks. Uh, so hopefully not. Well, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> I got tons of them here. Yeah, it's going to work great. So, listen, guys. Uh, upcoming events: September fifth, O'Neill's in Port Lavaca. September sixth, Coastal Bend in Beeville with the re-release of Louisiana Purchase. Yeah, baby. And September seventh, Mahek Winery for their wine club pickup. That's up near Schulenburg. Check out our web store on our website, OldStogieCompany.com. We have a lot of new things out there and a lot of stuff that everybody should get. Yes. Absolutely, and listen, if you want to hear some of uh, the interview with Steve that didn't make the radio show, go to our YouTube channel. And Steve, thank you much, very much for being here. We appreciate yes, it. Yes, thank you, Steve. No, yeah. you guys are great. Thank you. I appreciate it. Thanks. Well, listen, that's it for the Stogies this week, and uh, we'll see you guys next week. And remember, smoke them if you got them. And we got them. I think the, the ending is my favorite part. Yeah. No, I mean, not <laughs> Not it's fucking over! <laughs> no, just, just smoke him if you got him, part.